What's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Byron Vasquez Jr. I'm a Los Angeles-based actor, and here you will find personal stories of my journey as an actor, as well as tips and tricks and other acting-related content. As you know, today is Movie Review Tuesdays, so I'm using my Redbox account in order to watch my Tuesday movie, and today it's Father Stew, starring Mark Wahlberg, Mel Gibson, and Jackie Weaver. So check out this quick announcement right now, and I'll see you after the movie. Hey guys, as you know, I'm an actor, which means I love movies. And since you're watching my channel, it's a sure bet that you love movies too. So, sign up for Redbox today through my affiliate link in the description box below to have access to hundreds of movie titles on demand, on DVD, through the kiosk, and even early access to some anticipated films of the year. Just sign up with a password and email and you're ready to enjoy your favorite movies in the comfort of your own home. Fine print on this way of living, pal. We well, got a long road ahead. Oh, comes around. God is all about defying the odds. It's up to you to decide what you've got to offer. This is the place you told me you believe in me. Your son is about to make a huge mistake. Well, I'm gonna be a priest for Halloween. Hear the trumpets, hear the piper. Man don't lose when he gets knocked down, but when he won't get up. Father Stu. Can't say I never gave you nothing. Yeah, I skipped over thanking you. Went straight to the soul. All right, you guys, and I am done watching the movie Father Stu, but before we get into it, I want to do a couple of housekeeping things. First of all, I would like to say, please subscribe to my channel. I noticed that a bunch of you guys are watching my stuff but are not subscribed to my channel. It would really help the channel a lot if you subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so if you haven't yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button. The other thing I wanted to mention was author Chris DeSalvo, who is a friend of mine, has just released his first self-published book on Amazon. It's called The Late Hour Stories for the Insomniac. It is an anthology of short horror stories or thriller stories. It's kind of like a Goosebumps book for adults. I had the opportunity to read a story before he published it and it was a fun story. I'm going to leave a link to the Amazon book down in the description below. I always get inspired by friends of mine who are chasing their dreams and making them happen. So if you want to read something and if you have a hard time falling asleep at night, go click on the link and purchase this book on paperback out now on Amazon. Now that we got that stuff out of the way, let's get into the movie review. The movie was written and directed by by Rosalind Ross. It stars Mark Wahlberg, Mel Gibson, and Jackie Weaver. The movie was about Stuart Long, who was a former boxer who has to rediscover himself after the end of his boxing career and decides to move to LA to make it as an actor. He's a foul-mouthed, boozy guy, but at the same time, he's pretty charming. He happens to fall in love with a devout Catholic girl named Carmen, who gets him to start going to church until one day, while under the influence of alcohol, he gets into a very bad motorcycle accident. Uh, during his accident, he is visited by the ghost or the spirit of the Virgin Mary. And owing his survival of this accident to God and to Christ, he decides to become a priest when it is discovered that he has a very rare muscle degenerative disease similar to ALS. The movie's themes seem to explore finding yourself and finding faith, but also what are you willing to suffer in service to that faith? I believe that the movie started off a little bit slow. It took me a while to really get into it because it had to cover a lot of his backstory from his growing up, when his brother died, and his relationship with his father and then his boxing years and then moving to LA to become an actor and then meeting the girl and then going to church and then the accident. So it had a lot of little story that had to catch up the viewer on before it got into the big event. Stewart's life had so much happening in it that I felt it could have been served as a TV show or a miniseries as opposed to a movie because you had so much to condense into a two hour movie and it was very slow at the beginning so I felt like you could have spread it out in a minute like a Hulu miniseries. It was a lot to cover. I felt like they tried to truncate that too much into a two hour movie. I felt the movie was very tempered in its portrayal. It didn't go too heavily on the comedic side but it also didn't go too heavily on the dramatic side. Um, there were definitely some funny moments in the film as well as touching moments, but there was never really some big heartbreaking moments that I thought that was going to 
Kong. When I first saw the trailer to the movie, I thought it was going to be a very big tearjerker. I thought it was going to have this big emotional release at the end. But like I said, it was a very tempered film. Another note I had here was this film was also a slight stretch for Mark Wahlberg. Um, it is kind of similar to the roles that he plays because he does play a boxer and a tough guy in a lot of his movies. But in this film, he does that role, but then he kind of goes on and he stretches himself a little bit. He stretches himself emotionally and he stretches himself by the transformation of his muscle degenerative disease. Allegedly, he even stopped his training so he could put on the weight. He had to learn the physicality of losing control of your muscles and your body. So I thought that was really interesting because that was uh, certainly not a role that Mark Wahlberg has done before. I read another review and it said that Mark Wahlberg was miscast. It's not that I agree that he was miscast, but I do think that it was something new for him because he was pushing himself emotionally. He had a lot of emotional scenes in the movie that you don't really see in Mark Wahlberg's other movies. I think for, for Mark Wahlberg, good for him for kind of stretching himself as opposed to the regular tough guy, Mark Wahlberg, Boston boxer that he always plays. Was he miscast in the film? I don't know, but this is great that he's stretching himself and he's trying something different. Jackie Weaver and Mel Gibson play Stu's parents respectively, who never recover from their loss of their other son, are now contending with this disease of their current son. Two parents who became blase to life after a while. They still had love for each other, but because of their great loss that they had, it kind of took him in different directions. And I've read articles about that. The rate of divorce really skyrockets when they suffer the loss of a child. Stu's a tragedy for his illness that brought him back together and, and Stu's kind of perseverance and kind of determination to be who he wanted to be, which was a man of God. From somebody who came from a place of such rebelliousness and drinking and using foul language and being a boxer, getting into fights and really turning himself around into being a man of God and then not cursing God when he gets inflicted with this illness, but instead it gives him more fervor and more passion to continue his calling to be a priest. Teresa Ruiz does a good job as well, playing the love interest Carbon. There was a very powerful performance by Cody Fern at the end of the film, and the thing that lacked about this character was uh, he wasn't really shown much other than just being in an antagonistic role, but he didn't have a lot of scenes in that film, so we didn't get to know him. So by the end of the film, when that monologue that was delivered a powerhouse performance by Cody Fern. It just didn't impact us enough. It didn't impact the viewer the way that I think they intended to because we didn't really get to know the character at all. I see big things in the future for Cody Fern. Mark my words because I think he's going to go places. I give the film a 6 out of 10. It was a little bit slow at the beginning and then the really interesting stuff happened about 40 minutes of, to the, of the end of the movie. And I think he just didn't kind of know which way to go, so it just kind of played in between all of it. If you're looking for a movie on a Saturday night or Sunday night to get inspired by when you're feeling down and depressed and you kind of want to feel encouraged, this is it. That is my movie review for the movie Father Stew. I will put a link to the Redbox below so you could also click on that link and watch Father Stew. You can stream it on Redbox, a free DVD rental, if you click on the link. Also, I'm going to add the Amazon affiliate link link for the DVD in case you want to buy the DVD. Chris DeSalvo's book. I'm going to have that also in the description below. Tuesday, Wednesdays, I have my movie reviews. Every Sunday, I put out my videos on my personal stories as an actor. Once again, please, please, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more of my personal stories as an actor, as well as tips and tricks and other acting-related content. That's a wrap.